Hi everyone, welcome back to another video where today I'm going to be showing you guys a lot of behind the scenes for a music video that I shot back in March for a lovely song called Flowers uh, for a guy called Jamie Hanna. So this video was a really great one to work on as I got the chance to work with some people and some crew that I really really love and some really nice kit and also for a great song so when you put those sorts of things together you never really come out with a bad product um, so yeah happy days all around really. So the brief itself called for something quite bright and airy quite naturalistic so what I decided uh, alongside our director Andy Concheva is that we'd use the Atlas Orion Anamorphics and but essentially because that whilst their anamorphic lenses doesn't have sort of like an interesting quality and characteristics to them they're quite modern anamorphic so if you're not using any sort of strange filtration or you know shining like a hmi straight down the barrel to get like a crazy flare um they are quite naturalistic and i think that went well for the style of this video so we actually shot this video on the Ursa Mini Pro 4.6K G2, which is a lovely, lovely camera. It's sort of the big brother to the uh, Pocket 4Ks and 6Ks that I've got. And um, naturally, um, the menus are exactly the same. And the colour space is exactly the same uh, as the Blackmagic. So I knew exactly what I was doing with sort of uh, exposure, where I can push the highlights to the point where they're going to clip. And you know, the same with shadows. And having the built-in NDs was just like an absolute dream because my my pocket 4k doesn't have that and it's it's always a massive struggle working without them so yeah as i previously mentioned we used the atlas orion anamorphix b set so we had the 32 the 50 and the 80 mil lenses we stayed on the 32 most of the day because i quite like the level of distortion you get because it's quite wide but then you can also get quite close with them um yeah i quite like that we did use the 50 for a couple of shots um, more specifically the um, orbiting shot at the end um, I feel like it was a good idea to switch to a longer focal length because when you're doing an orbiting shot um, if you're using a longer focal length you can sort of um, split the subject and the, the background more I kind of wish I'd used the 80 mil for it though because it would have like exaggerated that effect um, but nonetheless um, I'm quite happy with that shot <laughs> For stabilisation we used a Ronin 2 and a Ready Rig, um, which obviously of course wields the best results but at the end of a long 8 hour day of shooting uh, I did go home with some bruises on my hips which is probably my fault for not getting in the gym enough but I'm working on it. So about a week and a half before we actually went to go and shoot this video, Annie and I took a trip down to the location to go and shoot a little recce film, which was really useful because it, it meant that we were able to show Jamie exactly what we were planning to shoot and it also meant that the lovely people at WMA were happy with what we were doing as well. The location itself was really great, it gave us loads of different options for shooting in different places. We had like a greenhouse, we had a swimming pool and a couple of open spaces where we could really sort of let loose with the dancers and not be encumbered by the size and space of the location. Um, so that definitely helped a lot. Obviously, as I mentioned before, I had some great crew on this one. I had Christian Wood as my first AC and Jacob Nella as my second. Those guys were great. Um, prepping the kit in my mum's kitchen until like 1am the night before. Um, so props to them and also to Gabriel Mango for coming all the way down from London to gaff for me on his own. So, you know, I uh, appreciate the time and effort of those involved. Really helps a lot. In terms of lighting for this one, we were actually quite stripped back because most of the budget went towards camera equipment. So massive props to Gabriel for coming all the way down from London and gaffing the whole thing on his own with a 600D, a 2 times for now and an 8x8 scrim gym kit. I'm just going to go through a couple of the lighting setups for this video because I think although they are super simple, quite liked how effective they were and also in conjunction with the anamorphics. Um, it's just really happy with the end result. The opening shot that goes until about 10, 12 seconds in, super simple setup again. We essentially just faked the golden hour look. We have the 600D with the two times for now and a sheet of full straw gel uh, about 15 feet away uh, on the left hand side to make it look like it was the rising sun. Uh, worked pretty easily. You can do so much with literally just a 600D and some gel. It's ridiculous. So this shot here, it's a close up of Jamie singing about 18 seconds in, it's in the greenhouse. 
And it was a really, really simple one. I asked Gabriel to set up the 600D with the Fresnel and full straw gel at, I think it was a 45 backlight from the left hand side. You can see it catches the left hand side of his face here. And we had the 8x8 used as neg fill on the right hand side, which isn't doing too much, but that's, you know, that's fine. Um, and you can also see here on the right hand side, there's like a big splotch of um, golden yellow spilling through uh, from uh, the 600D on the left. And I did notice it, but I actually left it because I feel like it gives a bit of interest to that portion of the frame. I feel like if it wasn't there, then the whole background would have just faded into this sort of teal, sort of like blue hour ness that I didn't really want to leave it all as that. So I'm, I was quite happy just to leave that spill there as sort of like an intentional spill, if that's a thing. Um, but I, I, I quite liked it, so I left it as is. Uh, the shot you can see at uh, about 58 seconds, it's a group shot with uh, four of them sitting on the steps with Jamie as the hero in the middle. Super simple setup here again, it's the 600D from a 45 backlight without the full straw gel. Just to give a little bit of like a highlight on the left hand side of Jamie's face and also catching um, the right hand shoulder of uh, the dancer that's sitting on the left hand side too super simple and sometimes that's just all you really need it's also worth mentioning that towards the end of the day in like the last hour and a half the sun started coming out which actually really helped because it's kind of what we were going for all along but for the most part it kind of helped that we were sort of overcast because it's sort of like just big diffusion really everywhere and then if you really need the hard sun just whack a 600d with the two times for an l and full straw gel that's literally all you need if you're not shooting that wide of a scenario. So the shot that happens from one minute all the way towards around one minute 20, uh, that initially was supposed to be a one shot and it's edited to make it look like a one shot, but it's actually a couple stitched together just because on the day we couldn't get the Ronin to pan fast enough um, for it to work within the song. But I'm happy with the way that Annie edited it. Um, and it looks really nice. Well done, Annie. Okay, so this shot at 1 minute 56, where we have the four of them dancing together and then they break off and Jamie um, walks off on his own. It's one of my favourite shots, I just really like it in terms of composition and colour. Um, it just looks really nice. I like how they break off and he's on his own. And that tree is just, I don't know, just very nicely placed on the left hand side. Not bigging up my own work too much. I'm just saying like, it's just nice. But it also reminds me because it's quite a funny shot because it continues um, again after a few cuts, we go back into that shot. And on the day we didn't expect for Jamie to come this far forward. So we've got this lovely shot of um, Jamie walking forward, beautifully singing, it was a gorgeous, gorgeous shot. <laughs> All I can remember is the entire crew picking up uh, pelly cases and everyone running back so that we didn't end up in the shot, um, which I found quite funny. Um, but it was a beautiful shot and um, everyone, everyone pulled out of the bag, so happy days, good memories. So yeah, that's my little breakdown of uh, the flowers video for Jamie Hanna. Um, currently it's sitting on 97,000 views so crusading its way towards 100k so hopefully by the time this is out um, it's sitting on 100k which would be pretty cool this is sort of like a part of like a new thing I'm trying out for YouTube just doing behind the scenes and breakdowns from jobs let me know if you enjoy it um, I would like to carry on doing it it's fun I like talking about cameras and lights so let me know if you enjoy it and um, yeah, uh, depending on what time of day you're seeing this, have a lovely rest of your day. I hope it's not too warm where you are because right now it's we'll go in the middle of like a crazy heat wave in the UK. So, you know, I'm, <laughs> I'm definitely sweating while sitting here. It's way too hot. But um, yeah, um, have a lovely rest of your day and I'll probably, hopefully, maybe see you again. <laughs>